we're sitting down with Vivian Stauffer, CEO of Hamilton Watches, to discuss their recently released khaki aviation converter line. We also touch on what it's been like for Vivian taking over as CEO of Hamilton in 2020, as well as the process behind developing Hamilton's Below Zero collection for Christopher Nolan's film Tenet. And now, here's our interview with Vivian. Vivian Stauffer, welcome to the virtual Wind Up Watch Fair. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Blake. It's a pleasure for me to, to be with you today. Uh, so tell us a little bit about yourself and what it's been like to take over the role of CEO in a year like 2020. Okay, so I'm, so I'm working for Hamilton since uh, 2007, so 13 years. Uh, up to now, I started in the SWAT group in 2002, so almost 20 years within the, the group. Uh, I took over the responsibility of head of sales in 2011 when uh, the former CEO Silvadella was appointed CEO of Hamilton at that time. And uh, since July this year, so the SWAT group offered me the opportunity to take over the role of CEO of Hamilton. Uh, to take it in 2020 can be seen as a challenge. Uh, we all know uh, what is going on uh, out there. It might be challenging, but uh, whenever you have a challenge, there is opportunities. So I must say that uh, up to now, it has been a quite interesting period. Uh, we are still uh, kind of a mindset, having a startup, startup mindset by Hamilton. So we have been able to adapt ourselves to the, to the situation and to, to learn from this, uh, from this situation and to think about uh, new, new ways of uh, promoting our product, presenting our product, selling our product. And uh, it has been a very, very uh, loaded and uh, interesting time, I would say. Yeah, so speaking of promoting your product in interesting ways, uh, you recently partnered with uh, Christopher Nolan film Tenet, uh, which I don't believe is the first time you've done this. Uh, can you tell us about what that experience was like and a little bit more about that partnership? Yeah, so, well, the whole story with Hollywood started in 1932 when we, we have been seen in the, in the movie Shanghai Express. Um, talking about Tenet, it started beginning of 2018. Uh, it's the second time that we have a really close uh, partnership with the Christopher Nolan movie. So the previous one was with uh, uh, Interstellar in 2014. Uh, beginning of 2018, um, Nathan Crowley, so the production designer of uh, Christopher Nolan, contacted us and uh, just threw on the table a challenge for Hamilton. He knows how we work and he just said, okay guys, I need a, I would love to have a watch, military look like, with a big, shiny digital uh, uh, display on the watch head. And of course, it's not something that we had in the in our collection. So we contacted our research and development companies within the SWAT group, and they have been able to develop something. Uh, it's not a finished good. It's not a finished watch. So it's remained a prop uh, that is made for the movie. So it's a product that is not available. But um, then we went to see the movie. So we developed all this without being able to see the movie. Christopher Nolan is. Uh, keen about keeping secret everything about the movie and uh, even ourselves so it's there is no non-disclosure agreement there was nothing so we were not aware of uh, anything about the role of the product in the in the movie and uh, I must say that we have been pretty proud to see how the role of our of our hero uh, of our product in the in the movie during the last 20 minutes of the of the film we can see that the product is playing a key role where two teams they need to be coordinate, they need to be precise, and we have been quite happy to see how our product has been implemented in the, in the movie. Uh, then to pay tribute to this partnership, we developed two special editions, uh, limited to 888 pieces, with just a red or blue uh, tip of the second hand uh, in a special packaging that has been uh, developed by, uh, and designed and developed uh, by Nathan Crowley, the production designer of Christopher Nolan. Was it always the plan to use a below zero, or um, was there any other considerations uh, to use? So uh, we had some other consideration, but we needed to have a big dial, um, a big dial. So it was, of course, when we talk about military watches, uh, we could have thought about a khaki field, uh, but the khaki field, the biggest, I mean, the largest we have is the 42 mm. So we needed to have something a little bit uh, wider. 
could have been the khaki field limited edition. We had the 50 millimeter in the past, but it's not part of the collection anymore. So we had to work on something military. And, um, and this movie has been, this product has been seen as well in, uh, in other movies, like in The Martian or Predators. And uh, it's something always linked a little bit with this, uh, um, I would say, adventurous military uh, movies, uh, action movies. So that's where we came up with this, uh, with this product. And titanium is also something that makes it interesting for us. Yeah, very cool. Uh, so you really recently launched a new line of watches, the Khaki Aviation Converter. Uh, where does that name came from? And uh, can you tell us about the inspiration behind these watches? Well, so um, the, um, the Khaki Pilot Converter, so it's a, it's a new product that we launched uh, just in uh, September this year. Uh, it, it's including a slide rule. So the right rule, rule allow the pilots to make calculation or conversion. So that's why there is two uh, opportunities uh, with this uh, turning bezel. So calculation or conversion. So we decided to call it the converter. It's a technical product. Uh, the inspiration, uh, we had it in mind. Uh, I, am, I am flying as well. So I have my pilot license since I am 18 years old. So since oh, quite cool. a few years. Yeah. And, um, and I've always been complaining uh, as being an aviation company, or an aviation watch company, uh, not to have something to make conversion. I'm flying in a small airfield where I'm uh, uh, towing gliders on the glider. They always talk in meters. I mean, in the plane, I, I fly in an American airplane, so the mold, uh, it's everything in feet. And every time they ask me, yeah, I have to go to 1,500 meters. And I'm like, um, what, is, what are the feet? So, yeah. I know now that it's 5,000 feet, but uh, I always had to calculate it. And then I was like, That's, we need ones to have this uh, kind of product. So yeah. it was in the pipeline since a while. And then uh, we decided last year to really put it on the market this year. So with all the development and to, to have this technical uh, product in our aviation collection. Yeah, very cool. Uh, so tell us a little about the, the Nivacron hairspring. Uh, what sets it apart from other hairsprings? So the Nivacron hairspring has been... Um, uh, alloy that has been uh, developed uh, by the SWAT group and that we are using now in, uh, in all our novelties, uh, three hands novelties. So the Nivacron is an alloy that allows uh, to the watch movement to be resistant to magnetic field. So it's an agmatic, agmatic alloy, uh, pretty stable. It's also more resistant to the shock and to the change of temperature. So we use it in all our three hand automatic watches uh, we will have it in a running change in the in the future as well for existing collection. Uh, once we are, we will be able to produce enough according with the dem demand. Um, compared to the silicon air spring, so uh, in the way of producing it is a little bit different. Uh, the silicon is more like a, a clone uh, way of doing the the things. It takes more time uh, in terms of quantity, and uh, that's why we reserve the silicon spring only for our automatic chronograph uh, movement. So we have the Nivacron for our three hands automatic and the silicone for our automatic chronograph movement. Sure. Um, and I would just want to ask you just broadly about the khaki collection, kind of how you see that evolving uh, with the addition of watches like the, the Pilots Converter. Uh, and what can we kind of look forward to within this line uh, as it evolves? Okay, so the, um, the khaki uh, is our heritage from the military involvement. Uh, we know that we have been uh, supplying the, the US Army during the Second World War, and we, we know that, I mean, in the, in the Army, we have the three different uh, uh, armed force. So we have the, the field, we have the Navy, we have the, the aviation. So that's why we have the three collection in our khaki, uh, big khaki family. So uh, we have the aviation where we try to offer uh, technical products, so that's really where we have technical products, a little bit uh, larger product going up to 45, 46 millimeter. Uh, we also have Pioneer Spirit uh, collection, I would say, in the, in the aviation. Then we have the Khaki Field, which is the basic uh, mini three hands uh, automatic, the military touch of, uh, of our heritage. And we have the Navy, which is like the below zero, but also our, our diving watches. Uh, so the converter is animating this uh, khaki collection into a more technical part. Uh, we had earlier this year the titanium from the field collection, so a little bit more standard. And uh, we are working on some uh, on some 
pretty interesting product as well for the for the Navy family, but this is going to come later on. Sure. So you just referenced a pretty rich history there within the khaki line. How do you balance that history against kind of pushing forward into new and modern designs? Yeah, so Hamilton has always been a pioneering spirit. So we we always try to come with something new. So it can be in terms of uh, of uh, of movement uh, with the Niva Crown we talked about. It can be in terms of uh, of design. Uh, we can, let's talk about the Ventura. The Ventura that's the typical, the iconic uh, triangular watch. Uh, it can be seen as an old product, a historical product, when it was the first electric watch launched in 1957. Or it's also very futuristic when we take the, the last uh, Ventura skeleton that we, that we had. So we always try to manage uh, with our rich history to have something more pioneering speak, inspiring us from the, from the past collection, but also to look into the future. And um, I must say that for now, there is also in terms of movement, but we also have to work with different materials. Uh, we had uh, uh, watches with aluminum cases in the past. Uh, we are working on new, new material as well for the, for the future, especially for the, within two years as we're going to celebrate our 130th anniversary. Yeah, excellent. That's, that's exciting news. Uh, and just lastly, kind of on that note, looking forward to 2021 and uh, in a more positive spirit, uh, uh, what can we expect from Hamilton and any future plans that you care to share with us? So there is nothing that I can really share right now. Um, we will have, we'll put on the market beginning of next year animation of uh, our open art 42 millimeter. So uh, we, with this special opening of the dial that became since now 10 years when we launched the first one, the signature of, uh, of Hamilton. So we are animating this uh, collection early next year uh, with a pretty nice uh, dial on product. Um, we are working on some uh, Jazzmaster automatic, more classic, uh, classic watches. And uh, stay tuned because there is a few things, it's a little bit too early for, for us to disclose anything today, but within two to three weeks, uh, for sure in December, we'll have much more news uh, that we will be able to, to share. But already stay tuned, right. because in a few weeks, we're going to have a great news to announce. All right, well, we'll look forward to hearing that. Uh, and, and Vivian, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a huge pleasure getting to, to chat with you today. Thank you, Blake. Have a good day. All right, you too.